Oh. Nick off, snobs. I hate soccer. Oh. Marion! <laughs> you're in the school soccer team. Put this on and go to the sports field, quick. I am not in the soccer team. You are now. Three kids have got the flu. Tough. They're going to have to make do. <laughs> hey, snobs loves playing soccer. Here you go, boy. You qualify. You're under 12 years old. Marion, dogs don't play soccer. Snorth is a brilliant player. He can't play for the school. Mr Alexander says you have to play. Who are we playing? Flat Rock Primary. No way, they're thugs. What about Spike? Why can't he play? He is. He's a reserve. That's because he's hopeless. That's right. Mr Alexander says you're not quite as hopeless. So you're in the team. <laughs> Stupid game. Only if you're the world's worst player. I said no! Why didn't you knuckle him first? I had the ball. Flat Rock kids are knucklers. You've got to get in there first. Don't you know anything about sport? How are we doing? Flat Rock Primary's murdering us. <laughs> like that. Oh, Marion has to come off. Go and help. Spike, you're on. Pardon? You're playing. We need you. Go on. Yes, sir. Hear that, Snobs? The team finally realised they need my help. Just watch this. You won't be needing a fishing rod. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Go, Spike! Yes, yeah, Spike! Come on, you can do it! Oh, well, Eden Beach might as well just give up now. Chance, Snobs, you're an idiot. Oh, don't blame Snobs. Too late, I just did. He just wants to play soccer. Yeah, well, he should play with someone else. How's Marion's knee? He can't walk on it for three days. Oh, what? Uh, so he misses school tomorrow. And you are going to get so ribbed at school. Yeah. What are the chances of a meteor taking out the school before then? Uh. What's going on? The school's being sold. 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 Oh, yes! No! No! Yes! This beats a meteor any day. Obviously, many of you will be saddened by the news that Eden Beach Primary is closing, and some of you, no doubt, will be not so sad. Unfortunately, our student numbers have been dropping year by year, and we've reached a point where Eden Beach Primary, sadly, cannot continue. Your parents will receive notification today, and the sale is expected to be finalised within 10 days. Now, you'll notice these gentlemen. 
They'll be inspecting the property on behalf of the people who are interested in buying it. Now, I ask you to give them your full cooperation by staying right out of their way. We'll have to go to school somewhere. Where will they send us? If they send us to Flat Rock Primary, I'll die. Mum, did you hear? Yes, darling. It's just arrived in the mail. Hello, Mrs Oakley. Hello, Brooke. Not only are they selling the school, you're all to be transferred to Flat Rock Primary. Precisely. Over my dead body. A lot of you will be worried about the future of your children. And our priority, of course, is your children's education. We have arranged for your children to be transferred to another school of equally high standard, Flat Rock Primary. No! What's the problem with Flat Rock Primary? I'd rather not go to school than go to Flat Rock Primary. Let's that settle then. I don't believe the offer to buy the school has come out of the blue. It's obvious they've been trying to sell it without telling us. Exactly, because they knew we'd object. Mum, don't forget. Flat Rock Primary. Thank you, darling. I hadn't forgotten. Back to the wonderful job you're doing, hmm? It obviously does go without saying that Flat Rock Primary is not a suitable alternative. I thought everyone I'd invited was here. I'll get rid of them. As I was saying, it goes without saying that Flat Rock Primary is not a suitable alternative for our children. It's half an hour's bus drive away. To an underfunded school populated by underprivileged children who no doubt are riddled with head lice, we must, for the sake of our children, find a way of preventing the sale of the school. There's a couple of concerned parents you forgot to invite. Evening all. Evening. Oh, we heard about the meeting. Thought we'd pop in. We don't want the school closed and sold either. Oh, please, find some chairs. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to ask. As I was saying, we must find a way of stopping the sale of the school. Well, we can appeal. Pardon? I, I popped down the phone box to Savo and rang the education department. We can lodge an appeal against the sale. The problem is, an appeal takes about three weeks and we've only got ten days. are going to appeal against the school being sold. But it takes three weeks. And the school's being sold in ten days. So we have to slow down the sale somehow. No. no. What? You'll have to go to Flat Rock Primary. Yep. yep. You'll get head lice. Who cares? We get to play for a decent soccer team. Yeah. And knuckle kids instead of getting knuckled. You're mad. No. Eden Beach Primary was for losers. We can't wait to go to Flat Rock. Fine. We'll find someone else to help us then. Ugh. Watch where you're going. You watch where you're going. I'm only going to say this once. I need your help. You need my help? I wish I was dead. Just come with me. There they are. See them? We need to trick them somehow. Why? Because they're inspecting the school for the people who might buy it. If we can trick them into thinking that there's something wrong with the school, we can delay the sale. You've got brains. How can you be a feral? Not now, snobs! Mm -hmm. But we want them to sell Eden Beach Primary. You're not going to get out of going to school. It's either here or Flat Rock Primary. They're knuckles at Flat Rock Primary. And they've got head lice. I've had head lice before. Being knuckled's worse. <coughs> not now, snobs! <coughs> I hate school. I can't believe I'm being asked to save one. <coughs> Saturday, mate. You're not meant to be here. Clear off, mate. Uh, if you're looking for headlights, you should try Flat Rock Primary. I said clear off. But I've had them. And if you really want to see some, I've got them at home in a jar. Do you want a clip under the ear? Uh, I've even got names for them. Bye. We have to come up with a plan. Look what I got. Pinched it from one of the blokes. It says they're inspecting drainage. What's drainage? They're making sure water drains away. Why? Because if water doesn't drain away properly, the ground's soggy. They can't build here. So maybe that's what we can do. What? Something to do with the school's drainage. I know what we can do. High flood flagship. Also, we've got the park flood watch. 
I'll bet they're trying to stop the school getting sold. Yeah. Well, we're going to Flat Rock Primary because we belong at Flat Rock Primary. Yeah, right. Oh, so we have to make it look like the school's drainage is bad. Yes. It's a cinch. I'm not playing soccer with you, snobs. Nico. stop the school getting sold. Dunno. But whatever they're doing, it's not gonna work. a bit of muscle? No, I can do it. Well, why aren't you? Because I can't with you watching. You belong at Flat Rock Primary. And I could take my own head lice with me. Bet you couldn't. the sheet here right on top where's it gone you put it somewhere I didn't where's all this water come from well, maybe it's a draining problem I suffer till it goes away. Ouch! Hey, I'm a nail! There. Who said girls were weak? It's pretty pathetic. I mean, this is more like what we need. Bother with that little dribble. Alexander, if the ground's swampy, we can't build. Yeah, if we can't build, our client's not going to waste his money buying the place. I told you it was a cinch. I don't understand this. We've never had water in the grounds before. Unless someone's deliberately trying to flood the place. Well, who'd want to do that? Just give me a minute, will you? I'll be back.
You too. What do you think you're doing? Turning this off, sir. Not turning it on. Trying to sabotage the sale of the school. No, sir. We're the ones turning off all the taps. Yeah, we want to go to Flat Rock Primary. Oh, really? I've never heard of anyone wanting to go to Flat Rock Primary. We do, sir. Promise. Abby and Brooke and the Ferrells are the ones turning on all the taps. Brooke Bellingham mixing with the Ferrells. Now you're really pushing your luck. Until the school is sold, you are spending every afternoon on detention. Don't you know there's a drought on? And you said it was a cinch. There has to be something else we can do. There's got to be something. There's nothing. We're going to Flat Rock Primary, and it's all your fault. Give us a break, will you, snobs? I've got enough problems. Oh, you've lost your ball, have you? Oh, well, tough luck. Yes, darling, I know we're running out of time. But we can't get them to hear the appeal any sooner. We've tried. It's bureaucracy. One concerned parent, one concerned child. Evening. Hi. Um, I didn't call another meeting. Yes, I know. I thought I'd drop this in. All the parents at the camp signed a petition. I see. Well, I'm afraid I don't think it's going to help much. We're desperate, aren't we? Unless you've had an inspired thought. No, I haven't. All I've managed to do is arrange a meeting with the headmaster first thing Monday. I'd love to come. Oh, I really don't think that... I can't see how two will achieve more than one. <gasps> two parents, one headmaster. Outnumber him. Good psychological tactics. Very well. The meeting's at 8 o'clock at the school. Abby, I thought of something. What? Remember Mr Alexander's nature talk on endangered species? What about it? Remember that type of sunshine waddle he said was protected? Flooding the school was a stupid idea. Listen to me. It could have worked. Listen to me. It was stupid. You should have come and asked me for an idea. Listen! If we can get this particular species of sunshine waddle and plant it, they won't be able to knock down the school and rebuild. Why not? Why don't you pay attention to Mr Alexander's nature talks? If there's a really rare plant, it's called a protected area. You're not allowed to disturb it and build things. But if this thing's so rare, then where are we going to get one? There's a baby one at the garden nursery, but it's really, really expensive. Here's the forty dollars. Where'd you get that? I raided my piggy bank. Thanks. Come on, Spike. How's your knee? Sore. Why didn't you come and ask me for an idea to save the school? Because you hate school. So does Spike. And he had a stupid idea. So yours would have been stupid too. Where's Snobs? Oh, well, Spike reckoned he lost his soccer ball. Probably looking for it. Your mum's just gone in to see Mr Alexander. Yours too. Come on. We've got to find out what's going on. Get down. Oh, no way. I've got a sore knee. Wimp, I don't want to do this any more than you do. Get down. I have to tell you, I'm sorry to say, because I love the school as much as anyone. The sale contract will be signed today. We're doomed. They're signing the contract today. We're not doomed yet. We've still got Pierce Sunshine Waddle. Get real, Abby. As if that's going to work. Come on. We've got to find the right spot for it. Where would the right spot be? Somewhere it could have grown naturally. Ha-ha. <laughs> Detention for turning on all the taps. Ha-ha. <laughs> We're all going to Flat Rock Primary and you are going to get so knuckled. Come on. Right, plant it. And make sure it looks like it just grew there. Right. I'll go tell Mr Alexander what we found. Where's 
Mr. Alexander, this isn't going to work. Have you got any better ideas? Here he is. Mr. Alexander, remember your nature talk last week about the sunshine model? Yes, I do, Pierre. And I'm glad you remember. Conservation's such an important thing these days. We found one. Pardon? Spike and I found a baby sunshine waddle over there. You have to come and see it. Why do I think this might be another attempt to stop the school being sold? Goodness gracious me. It's the endangered species of sunshine wattle, all right. Does that mean this is a protected area and the school can't be sold? Well, that's exactly what it could mean. Except... I wasn't aware that Mother Nature wrapped her seedlings in black plastic. What? You should have taken the plastic off before you planted it. Yes, you idiot. Oh, no one told me to do that. It was a nice idea, Pierre. A lot more intelligent than Ryan and Sam's idea of turning on all the taps. I'm sorry to say, it will not stop the sale of the school. I told you it wouldn't work. <coughs> ah, snobs, that's my sore knee. Oh, snobs, forget soccer. We've all got to go to Flat Rock Primary. Ooh, a frog! Goodness gracious me, it's a bell frog. What's it doing here? Mr. Alexander, in your nature talk, you said bell frogs were really rare. Incredibly rare. Where did you get this from? Incredible. Does this mean the school can be declared a protected area? Quite possibly, Pierre. And that the school can't be sold? That's even more possible, Brooke. Thank goodness for the dirty, disgusting frogs. Thank goodness snobs love soccer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>